Do you think you have an attractive personality? How can you determine that? Is there a test for it? An attractive personality refers to likability. It's simply impossible for everyone in the world to like you, but that doesn't mean you should throw away the chance to become someone better for yourself and for others. You have good qualities as well as room for growth. But if you wanna build an attractive personality, where should you start? We have six tips in store for you to build an attractive personality according to science. Number one, adopt a less talk, more action mindset. Are you the type of person who complains a lot? Venting is fine. According to Angela Grice, a speech language pathologist, venting can help us gain perspective and put words to our feelings. And the simple act of naming your feelings can help reduce your distress around them. The problem comes when you start to negatively obsess over something. Are you constantly talking about it? Are your friends getting tired of it? Negatively obsessing over something and not actually doing anything about it can lead to a worse mood for you and those around you. Instead of resorting to complaining, try building a more optimistic, resilient outlook on your problems. When you have to do something, it's best to do it as soon as you can and do your easier or more urgent tasks first before moving on to another. That way you feel productive, which helps you feel better and more relaxed. Also, don't forget to take little breaks. Not only is it important, but it can even boost your motivation. Number two, work on increasing your patience. It's not easy to work under pressure. When you're tired, irritated, or anxious, it's more difficult to get things done. This is why people seem more attractive personality-wise when they remain calm under pressure. You can be that person if you wanna be. The secret is mindfulness. And let's say you have to work with a person you find annoying. Would you try to avoid them at all costs? Or would you accept your situation and try to reframe your mindset? A patient person is tolerant. They don't take themselves too seriously because they understand that everything will pass. So if you wanna practice being more patient, you can try training yourself to be in the moment. Ask yourself questions that can help you understand your emotions. Avoid judging first and listen well. But remember, patience is built over time, but you can do it. Number three, practice selflessness. Don't you appreciate when someone goes out of their way to help you? Kindness is always attractive and being kind without asking for something in return, even better. According to Cara Leiden, a registered dietitian and nutritionist, selflessness can lead to happiness because it helps you connect with others, quash your ego and act from your heart and soul. Of course, there is such thing as being too selfless and that's why it's good to understand your self-worth. But don't be afraid to give out kindness in the world in whatever way you can, like through complimenting a stranger dipping a waitress, or cooking for your parents. Kindness is free, but the rewards you get from it are priceless. Number four, nurture your self-esteem. Are you at peace with your body and self? If the answer is no, or anything close to it, that's okay. Self-love is an everyday battle, so take this as a reminder to not let the worst days win. A person with high self-esteem is confident, and as we all know, confidence is attractive. When somebody has true confidence in themselves, we arrive at certain conclusions about their personality and lifestyle. And it's good to remember that building self-esteem is not a one-time thing. It requires patience. Exercising, eating better, and being more productive are some ways to nurture your self-esteem. But ultimately, it requires a shift in mindset. When you acknowledge yourself as a work in progress, rather than something set in stone, habits can change and people grow at different paces. You are better than who you were a year ago, and you can certainly try your best to be better than who you were yesterday. Number five, treat socializing as your friend, not your enemy. Do you enjoy mingling with other people? Building an attractive personality refers to internal and external growth. You start by creating better habits. Having a better personal outlook helps determine how you present yourself to the world, AKA socializing. Some people hate putting themselves out there, and that's normal there are plenty of different personality types and there's room for all of them. But try to remember that it's not good to be stuck in your comfort zone forever. Research has found that people who had higher levels of agreeableness or extroversion were also rated as more physically attractive. Good communication skills are always helpful, even for introverts. At times, it's good to set little challenges for yourself. You can do it. And number six, train yourself to look on the bright side never underestimate the power of an optimistic outlook. According to Dr. Medina, an affiliate professor of bioengineering at the University of Washington School of Medicine, 
Optimism not only reduces stress, but it also promotes the production of the neurotransmitter dopamine. As you may know, dopamine makes you feel good. It increases your motivation and focus. You become more productive and start to see the better side of things, which people find attractive. When you're optimistic, you tend to bring people up, not dampen their mood. But it's not always easy being optimistic, especially if you haven't gotten used to that glass half full mindset. And that's okay. Being optimistic takes time and you can take it step by step. A simple trick that you can do right now is putting on your positive lens. Did anything happen today that put your mood down the drain? It may have been difficult, but did you gain something from that experience? What made you smile or feel better afterwards? This is called positive reframing, and this method of thinking can help you train your brain to become more optimistic, both in the short and long term. And lastly, be gentle with yourself. You are unique and important, and that in itself makes you attractive. Do you consider yourself someone with an attractive personality? If it doesn't feel like you're quite there yet, which points do you think you could work on? There are plenty of benefits to being optimistic, and if you wanna learn more about that, comment below. And if you like this video, remember to share it with friends. As always, the references and studies used are in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching.